Well, it hasn't really been too hot this year, but it's been warm enough. But uh, I had a kind of a question. AC work. Everybody does it different, right? Every, some people shoot from the hip. Some people want to sell you everything. Compressor, EVAP, condenser, receiver dryer. Just shoot the parts cannon at it. And, you know, in some cars, you know, if they're over 10 years, that's probably the way to go, you know. But some cars are not. Or vehicles or units or whatever you're working on. But anyway, <clears throat> the reason I don't make long videos is because I tend to wander off the topic. That's why my videos are always short, just in case you guys are wondering. So my question is, how do you do AC work? For me... The unit comes in, we turn it on, we verify the condition. Is it working? Is the compressor engaging? Is it, what is it doing exactly? Uh, the next thing I like to do, if I can, is I like to evacuate the system and I like to weigh how much Freon is in the system. It can be over, it can be under, and we've seen both conditions cause poor cooling inside the, the cab. So I like to, you know, evacuate it and see how much I have in the system. Is it is it what it calls for? You know, is it 3.5? Is it, you know, 0 0.8 uh, ounces? You know, what whatever the system calls for, you know. Um, the next thing I like to do is once I get it out, you know, you have a vacuum on it. So I go ahead and I like to watch, you know, the vacuum. You know, is it going to drop? You know, I normally, honestly, I give it about five minutes. If it doesn't drop in five minutes, I go ahead and I take it. I take the machine off, or what I'll do is I'll in, I'll take the machine off and I'll go ahead and I'll put and I'll put the gauges and I'll put a bottle of nitrogen, and I'll load the system with nitrogen. Uh, and uh, we'll go ahead and then we'll put you know the, the nitrogen into the system simulating refrigerant and then not only that because nitrogen can be manipulated to simulate the high pressure on the high side you can actually take it to you know you, you can actually take it to where the the safety valve and the compressor pops out what is it 425 450 i mean i wouldn't do it i don't recommend it but it's capable of doing it but i go ahead and take it to 320 300 you know 300 high side with nitrogen then I use soap and water, and, and I really like that method. Any any leak, pin hair, whatever, soap and water, nitrogen at 300. It's quick, it's visual, positive confirmation. And then, of course, you know, whatever the problem is, if we got a, you know, plug expansion valve or whatever. You know, whatever we end up doing, once we go back with it, my next favorite thing I like to do is I definitely want to put some um, dye. Even though I just fixed it, I'm going to put some dye because, um, you know, if everybody used dye after every repair, and, you know, you have to use it in moderation. You don't have to go crazy. You don't have to put eight ounces of dye like some people do. You just go ahead and, you, you, you know, you take it apart and, uh, you know, you put... Depending on the size of the system, you know, you put accordingly one or two ounces of dye. Because wherever the leak is or the, the leak develops, all the dye is going to come out right there. So one ounce of dye is going to come out in that one spot. And then I go ahead and let the unit go. Uh, we, we normally don't get most of those repairs back because once we let them go, they go everywhere. But I think, you know, if the next guy, and we do put the little neon sticker saying, hey, it has a UV dye, you know, UV dye in it, you know, use a UV light, and that'll speed up the process. It's a courtesy to the customer, and it makes everything easier. And if everybody was to get on board and just put a little bit of dye when you get through with your repairs, it'll make the industry so much more easier to, to, to service these systems and make good money. You know, it's funny, UV dye has been around since, what, the early 90s? And even now, I think it's still underused. But my favorite method is the nitrogen bottle. Hey, what's your favorite method? You know, share, like, comment. I'd like to know. I'm just curious. Thanks for watching.